hello friends welcome to share market friend again uh, in this video I am going to talk about my observations about weekly expiry or weekly options that is started into nifty 50 index okay so this is a circular of NSE dated December 18 2018 okay in this circular they are telling all the details that they are they were going to introduce in nifty weekly expiry uh, it will be same like 75 uh, units lot of nifty and it will expire on every Thursday of week there will be seven series of uh, seven weeks of series for nifty option so this all details are given in this uh, circular okay now let's check what happened today on the first day of nifty X nifty weekly expiry so this is NSE website if you search NSE option chain on Google you can find option chain of the uh, NSE that is official uh, site of NSE if you click on home live market then option chain then equity derivative you can get to here also through this path okay so this is nifty weekly expiry uh, if you are a regular trader into options you can observe this difference that every time whenever there is a uh, option chain for monthly expiry this open interest column shows uh, options open interest in the range of uh, crores of open position but right now for weekly expiry it is showing in the range of only uh, 1 lakh to 6 lakh 2 lakh and 4 lakh for each immediate put options and then for call options it is showing around uh, 5 lakh 2 lakh and 7 lakh open interest position uh, weak implied volatility implied volatility uh, remain in the range of 12 to 14 same for uh, puts also uh, important thing to notice is that at the money uh, calls price was in the range of 60 to 70 rupees and for put it was in the range of 28 to 30 rupees so market was continuously falling so puts price uh, reduced it was uh, it was it may be due to various reasons actually okay and there was volatility more in the put side also for today's day if you compare it uh, you have to keep in mind that this price was around 30 rupees and this was around 60 rupees for at the money call and put if we select here in this uh, monthly expiry uh, option chain uh, then it shows the at the money put was around 195 rupees and call was around 139 rupees so they are in uh, multiple of that for two and half week so it appears on the first day that what I think is that uh, that if you're trading in weekly expiries you are getting calls and put for uh, linearly uh, corresponding same time uh, value you are getting it for cheaper rate maybe it is because first day that is why it is happening and also one thing I observed that far uh, distant option and put were priced very uh, at very low uh, maybe it is because expiry is after four days and they will as these are by black and Scholes formula so they will adjust to themselves for the correct value okay so this was uh, the difference that I observed also you can see the here the position is between 22 lakh 40 thousand open interest position it is in the range of 30 lakh 23 lakh and here it is 16 lakh 35 lakh and 23 lakh for uh, nearest out of the money uh, call nearest at the money call and put options okay so that was one difference I noticed here okay uh, if we talk about nifty today uh, if you see the six month graph of nifty it is operating around uh, in the constant range of 10,500 to 11,000 you can say it is consolidating between that range that is my observation uh, if you see five days graph then there was a breakout uh, between uh, before budget before one to two days of budget on expectation of a good things and also uh, around the RBI policy uh, where they reduced the interest rate by 0.25 etc so here there was a breakout but later it turned out to be a false breakout reliance mostly touched around 1300 price then it fell down to 1250 and closed around 1250 354 etc today 
when I'm making this video okay uh, so it turned out to be a false false breakout in that range so overall uh, basically today nifty was tracked by mostly by nbfc's like india bull housing finance bajaj finance etc also by ongc mahindra and mahindra who get mostly affected by uh, changes in interest rate etc uh, as rbi was pushing pushing for overall in interest rate cut or uh, cut in emi for nbfc's etc so that was creating kind of negative pressure on nbfc's etc because nbfc's are not that capable of passing the uh, rate cut also not able to reduce emi that fastly as like banks as they don't have uh, better supply of funds to them because people don't deposit money in nbfc's mostly they take deposit but not in that range as the banks are so that was one cause also there were few international fears were also like shutdown fears were looming in looming on the international markets of america and also there was uh, first march date of uh, china's tariff restrictions were kicking off again so they were negotiating those things so negotiations are going on in america between china and america delegates so this is one concern concern that is uh, causing fear in the market so that was one impact on overall negativity in the market also if we uh, t basically talk about option chain in itself then uh, the introduction of uh, weekly expiries for weekly option chain is overall creating a confusion in the market or kind of uh, uh, unknownness to the market because people don't understand that SEBI and NAC was in a favor of reducing liquid reducing volatility in the market reducing speculation in the market then suddenly and also they had increased their uh, increased nifty lot from 50 to 75 uh, created a restricted trading list for stocks etc to curb all kind of volatility into the market but now suddenly they have introduced weekly options so uh, negative point to it is that it can create volatility into market it can create uncertainty uh, for shorter time period for particular days like thursdays in a week because there will be uh, if you observe bank nifty i will take out the bank nifty option chain if you observe this option chain this is mostly uh, for seven days because it is a weekly expiry uh, it has uh, monthly expiry also but people trade mostly in weekly in bank nifty because it gives a lot of moves into it also the add the money calls and puts are there so if you sell these calls and bank nifty remains at the same position and it doesn't shows uh, sufficient uh, move then all the time value with this options uh, call and put that melts and who whoever is selling the options in bank nifty earlier he used to get that time value money as premium for selling that options uh, just by selling that option so that was one kind of had became income source for so many people that is what i think so now same thing will start to happen in nifty also people will start to sell weekly option or put call though there is a risk into it so that will be one thing that will create volatility into market especially on thursdays like uh, if you see if you see the plus point of this uh, weekly option selling and etc so one thing you can say that it will create liquidity uh, as so many sellers can participate into this earlier what used to happen the lot was very higher and it was carrying 30 days or uh, time value so it its value at the money call value was around in the range of 200 rupees per unit for uh, nifty 50 option so now it has reduced to one four two uh, one third in itself you can see it here it is around in the range of 59 to 60 so that will uh, make it easier for more people more people to sell call and put option thus creating more liquidity in the uh, options market so one plus point is that if you have small small portfolio uh, with just buying one uh, small call or put you can hedge your portfolio so that is uh, one plus point and one great plus point for 
option buyers uh, in a great thing so if you want to bet on one either side of nifty you can bet it with two to three thousand itself bet in the sense you can take a stand in a bullish stand or bearish stand for the nifty so that is one plus point that has been created so this is just first day of nifty weekly expiry so i don't think we need to draw too many conclusion positive or negative for it let's see how long it works and whether it works or not so that is that uh, the time ahead will uh, tell about that so that was all about my understanding about nifty weekly expiry i have shared with this please don't consider this as uh, investment advice or any kind of legal uh, advice to you please refer my disclaimer below video for taking any action based on this video okay this is for information purpose and for sharing my understanding with you if you like this you can check out my other videos in my video section if you click on share market friend you can go to videos you can check out other videos on liquid bees on mutual funds and on overall uh, market updates that whatever i want to give it to you also on bitcoins also kind of videos i'm making into my channel okay thank you for listening share market friend